What's going on, guys? Be much back on another video. Today, we're going to be talking about renting collectibles. We're going to be talking about how the market's going. We're going to be talking about a bunch of other things. We're going to be talking about especially 007 drop. So let's get into the video. Disclaimer, we are not professionals. We are not financial advisors. This is not financial advice. Do your own due diligence and enjoy the video. All right, so we had these comics that happened today. The Uncanny X-Men number 282. You already know. Um, how was the drop for you? It seemed like a lot of people in the Discord got L's. Like there were, I think, two people that got it on drop and then some people got the rebounds. Seemed like the rebounds were more likely you were more likely to get the rebound than the actual drop. I didn't get anything, but did you get anything? No, I missed it. I had a presentation at the same time, but in the secondary market, I saw the secret rare was going for, I don't know, very low. It was under 500 and it kept like sinking down. It was in the, like at 200 at one point. I picked one up for uh, 260 gems. So yeah, okay. pretty, pretty satisfied with that purchase. 500 mints. I love the cover art. And I picked up a common because I really love the common uh cover like art i just that the is super clean. detailed yeah Easy. the uncanny x-men uh comics in general besides anything george perez uh i i will probably buy almost all of the uncanny x-men because all the covers are just so nice like yeah. super detailed super colorful but yeah these are clean i really like all these except yeah. i mean these are obviously i like more than the uncolored ones like the black and white but yeah these are all looking sweet yeah. um Even yeah let's rare yes sir yeah, the Ultra Rare was honestly might be my, I don't know. These are all, they, I like them all. Let us know if you guys got the comic down in the comments down below and what rarity you guys got if you did get it and if you held or sold it. So next we have the 007 drop, the Aston Martin DB5. Ben was not here yesterday. So we're going to see what his opinions on these are. We have the Static, again, with 2,500 editions, the alt, or the Secret Rare, two Secret Rares in this yeah, one so this pretty bonkers 507 editions and seven editions this is going to be so weird because like this is the only thing that's yeah. different is that license plate <laughs> like like that's a yeah. lot of money people are going to be paying just for that license plate so it will be interesting to see how the scarcity of like you know versus that extra you know little minor detail how that'll fare in the market i'm really interested to see overall though I don't really know what to think of these in terms of like secondary market prices, just because we've only really had the tickets like this before. And I don't think the ticket is comparable to this at all because yeah. it's a ticket obviously, but I don't know. This is really hard for me to uh, determine what the price will be like. I'm going to go for it. Hopefully we get lucky and yeah, I don't know. I'm not really set in holding this if I get it just because I'm not like super big James Bond fan, but it is really tempting considering that it's, you know, Aston Martin first appearance of Aston Martin on the app. And I think uh, one of the most like notable first appearances of Aston Martin on the blockchain, because I think the other versions are like JPEGs of like formula, formula one, one cars. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. I still kind of, I know it's biased, but I kind of consider VV's FAs to be like the real FAs unless something else is a lot, you know, cooler, but We'll have to see how it goes. Yeah, I'm excited to see what the guns coming out of the headlights is because I feel like that's yeah. going to be pretty sweet. And then also, I do think this is going to be super detailed. Like, I think yeah. this is going to look really nice in the app. And I probably will end up holding it, honestly, depending on the price. If I were to get like maybe this one, I would maybe hold it. It, it just depends what price it is. I said yeah. the price predictions the other video, I'm just going to give you a little sneak peek. I said this one could be going for $6,500. So I mean, if it gets around there, I'd probably sell. But if it's below that, if it's at like 3K, I'd definitely hold it just in my opinion. But I mean, yeah, if, if you don't like it, then just sell it. If you like it, then buy it. Like, yeah, I mean, pretty simple, but that, I, it's going to be really interesting to see where things end up just because uh, these so could end up low. going for a pretty penny. Yeah, because like yeah. what I was talking about in the video yesterday, it's like probably one of the most popular cars and movies ever people are saying the batmobile there yeah. are different versions of the batmobile and another one that i can't think of the name but it's like that beetle the white one with i think a racing stripe down it i can't remember the name of it but uh, i was also thinking cars like the movie cars that yeah. obviously lightning probably, mcqueen yeah that's more popular than this probably but like i don't know if that will be drivable or what it would be like for that one I do think this will be drivable in the VV verse, and this is going to be a flex because everybody knows this car. I'm pretty sure like most people, at least and most of the population know it. So yeah. I think it's going to be pretty expensive here. Let me know yeah. if, in the comments down below if you guys are planning on picking this up aftermarket because it's going to be pretty pricey. Pretty yeah, if, pricey. if anyone's into uh, like 
I don't know, replica car collecting, or I don't know, maybe even like real car collecting in general, and you, you know, know more about this model and everything, I'm, let us know in the comments if you like have any extra insight on this, just because I don't know, I'm not a big car collector, but yeah, I think this one and the real car, I'm pretty sure went for millions in real life. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. We'll have to see what happens, but let's look over at the market. We do are going to touch on renting collectibles too. Let's just do it right now. So saw a little post on Facebook talking about renting collectibles and like what would actually be the use of that. And so we only really came to like two or I guess three conclusions. The first one's going to be taking pictures with it. I personally would rent a Donny. Like I'd rent a Donny for a day for like a few bucks or something just what, to yeah. take a picture with it or something for what's like an hour. Max, what's the max you would like pay to rent a Donny though? Cause that's where I, because like if I'd it's a pay few 15. dollars a day, Okay. Yeah. That's not terrible. And I guess you could make some pretty good money yeah, doing yeah, especially that, if you, cause like you really only need it for like an hour if you're going to take a picture with it or something. Yeah. So like if 15 or 10 bucks for an hour or something, depending on what collectible it is, like obviously less, like more scarce are going to be more expensive to rent and like vice versa. But I mean, secret rare Spider-Man, I can definitely see people renting out just to like rent it out. I mean, if Walt has any sort of utility, if you could take Walt and go into Disney World with it or something, anything like that, then I think that is going to be the reason people would rent it out. It's like, all right, well, if I rent out my Walt, I can get 20% off my ticket at this Disney park or something, or I get a free sandwich at this restaurant if I rent out this Walt from yeah. this guy or something. Anything like that, I think, would be a good use I case. Can... Or at Disney World with the real life statue of Walt, maybe rent it out like that because somebody wants to take a picture with it. Yeah, I would also say that I think cars might have the most potential and anything with like potential for gamification, just because maybe renting a collectible that you could use or play a game with might be cheaper than like investing in it. Like if you want to play Dr. Doom and it's like a thousand dollars to buy it or something, but it's yeah. 15 to rent for a day, you can rent it, try it out in the game, play it, see if you like that character. And if you want to invest in it, those are kind of, I don't know, that's where I see renting making the most money. And then with like the absolute grails, like the partners, the Donnie, Bro, honestly thing, seven editions yeah, that you could too. probably this... rent this thing out a lot <laughs> but yeah i don't that know would besides be that i don't see a lot in renting i'd love to know what you guys think about it but in general when it comes to renting uh i don't know i my mind is a little more closed-minded when it comes to renting i just don't see as many possibilities so let me know what yeah. you guys think about that also maybe like if there's a longer term um like kind of rent thing or something if you could rent like a whole set so like, what if you could speculate and maybe say like, oh, I think there's an airdrop coming this next month yeah. or something. You could rent out the set, then you would get the <laughs> airdrop and you'd be getting those master collector's points while you're renting out that set. So, yeah. I mean, I think, I think anything's possible. And I think the team is going to take suggestions for whatever yeah. you want. So that is one really just, nice thing is I think they're really open to feedback in general. They seem to have been open to feedback at multiple stages as we've seen so far especially with like mcp and all the revisions they did to that so i i'm really excited to see where it goes but as of right now that you know those are our thoughts let us know what you guys think and yeah let, it, let us we missed yeah let us know what you guys would want to do and like what collectibles you guys would want to run out because yes, ones sir. i would want to run out is probably main the main one would be donnie i just think i've always just wanted to be able to take a picture with him or something <laughs> just because he costs so much money Yes, sir. Hey, we're also, gonna be looking over, yeah. Gonna take a quick second to thank all of the YouTube subs, all of the Patreon members, everybody supporting the channel, liking, commenting, doing anything that helps out the algorithm. You already know. Thank you guys so much. And if you enjoy the content and you want to make 1000 X gains every single day in VV, subscribe to the channel. Yes, let's sir. go. You already know. 1000 <laughs> X gains every single day we were making over here on the channel, <laughs> especially if you buy any of these top losers. You already know. But sir, the assassin. So ooh, sad. yeah, for real. It does suck seeing a bunch of these collectibles dumping right now because like they're su they're such nice pieces, but yeah. nobody's willing to spend the money right now. Look at these. Look at yeah. this price. Oh my god, it's all <laughs> down. Like this is like the floor. Like this is the floor, right? Like it has to be the floor. Yeah, I because this date, I think Ecomi Wiki started what like after Golden Moments, right? So. Yep. I do think there was, I mean, that was a little dumb. I don't know if this is the absolute lowest level, but it's definitely very close yeah. to the floor for a lot of things that we've seen before. And it's 
it's insane to see that. I think a lot of people are ready for new drops coming out and ready to kind of reinvest into the grails that have, you know, pulled back like 50% or more. Yeah. So let's see what yeah. Todd's at curious because 7,000, it's honestly staying there pretty strong. Like yeah. that's honestly one of the ones that probably hasn't, that's probably one of the best standing collectibles that hasn't like dipped during this as much. Yeah. I still, nice. what is uh wonder woman at like four fifty or something? Yeah, because so I still low. think in terms of uh, like ROI, she might have some of the best potential just because she's down. Like, I don't know. What is it? 60% or more, maybe from like <gasps> 70. She's down quite oh a bit though. God, like I never crazy. thought we'd see wonder woman in like the three hundreds again. And who knows it could happen. Probably yeah. not, but it could. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's, let's see some of the other ones that are on the top yeah. losers. That sucks for whoever was stocking these up. Cause I know a lot of people were, yeah, <laughs> that is unfortunate, but I mean, that's what happens when everybody starts pumping it. Like it's going to come assassin. down probably harder than the rest. Yeah. The assassins on the top losers. I wonder why sitting at 180. I think it's just one. This is another one that I've like looked at my assassin multiple times and I was like, it never grows. It really fluctuates at like 350, and that's pretty much where I bought. So I can understand some people selling out of that just because it, you know, hasn't moved ever really. But Alligator Loki sitting at what 1200 for the secret rare? Yeah, that was up there. Yeah, 2700. Doinks. 3100. No, Jeez. not Randy. Yeah, for real, Randy. <laughs> I mean, if you're if you're watching this, feel bad. For you. You're still gonna have your Gator Farm or whatever. Your yes, uh, sir. What's it called? So it's an M. I don't even know. Uh, I don't know what it's called. Moat? <laughs> Is it called a moat? I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. But he's going to have gators four days. So, yes, sir. Still going to have them. What um, is that? Can't yes. see the price. 89, 89 for the rare the storm. Common. Oh, rare. What's partners at? 30? Uh, 25, I think. Wow. 20, yeah, 23. Wow. Three, three, three. Three. So, 50, you know, 50% plus pullback on that. That's wild. 463 for red skull that was sitting at oh my gosh these things are really pulled back like this is actually crazy i didn't think we'd ever see these prices this low at least for some of these collectibles yeah but i mean given also i do want to just make a quick note i hope everybody's doing okay because the world has been crazy lately so you know i hope everyone's okay and not stressing too much although i know there's a lot going on but yeah, I'm I'm sure that has something to do with a lot of these market prices as well, since the general market is really you know taking a hit right now. But yes, sir. Um, it looks like killer croc five sixty four. Yeah, and it was down Bonkers. to four eighty. So let's Woo. go coming up a little bit. Um, sixty three. Spider Man two nine nine. What's that at one thousand four hundred fifty? I remember. Yeah, I, I remember selling. I had mine for a sell order at two thousand eight hundred, and it filled, and I was like, shoot, I forgot I had that. <laughs> I'll order in and i mean ended up working out good because yeah it came down so i might pick that back up right now but definitely caught the wave also i do want to point out uh you know moving forward on vv something i'm i'm kind of learning is like no at least for me is kind of like no when to take profits on some things and recognize that we're not always going to be in a bull market there are ebbs and flows because i feel like we were in a period where like You know, we hit the all time highs and we're like, yeah, we're still going to the moon and stuff when realistically it might have been better to kind of sell off at the all time high and expect a dip coming. So definitely, you know, something I'm considering moving forward as we may approach like new all time highs or anything like that. But yeah, definitely. uh, It's been an interesting few weeks on Vivi. That's for sure. Yes, sir. I think that wraps it up from (laughs) this. No, no huge trends in the market right now. Just like some some things going up, some things going down. Is the uh secret rare uh dragon girl 555 oh 777 <laughs> wowzers lucky number if anybody wants to look and pick it up yeah, for 777 go pick her up all right lastly we did want to touch on the bb payouts because they put that article out and seems like some people are liking this because like i think i think some people got um cash out like option already so super hyped to see that if you guys haven't seen you must have a minimum of 1,000 gems to trigger the, the payout, 50 gems minimum to withdraw, 10% fee. You, the max you can take out is 50,000 gems for each week, so per yeah, week, that's and that's crazy. just for now. It says <laughs> for now, so I mean, that could be taken off, but I mean, yeah, I don't really know if they'll need to take that off. 50,000 is a decent amount of money, but 
um withdrawals will take on average seven to 14 days and that's pretty much it for that so yeah. also just to note uh there is that little transaction fee or yeah, i think it's like transaction fee for the bank when you like pull it out that's roughly like 35 to 45 bucks from what i've seen it could be more it could be less that's what i think the i range think it's is. 35 yeah. yeah and i don't know if there's any like <laughs> other hidden fees or like i don't know percentages that the banks take or anything of that but yeah, as uh, yeah. of right now, it's looking like 45 bucks, maybe max on top of the 10% when you pull out. So not too bad overall. I mean, com- considering that people are selling at like 0. 0.6, 0. 0.5, like, yeah, I don't think it's too bad. But yeah, let us know what you think, because I know a lot of people were upset about that when they uh, released that information originally. Also, let us know your recent purchases in the comments, because yeah. I, I always say that in the videos and nobody ever says what they're picking up and I want to know. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys are picking up. If you guys like the video, drop a like, subscribe if you want to see more, hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button if you want to be notified when we post. This is Vision, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Let's go. Oh, me homies, let's go.